Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Simon, this is Brett, Ow. and today we're doing a little bit of a follow-up video. In our last video, or might not have been the last video, but one of our previous videos, we showed a Subutio set that I've just picked up from a charity shop. Now the charity shop was one that hasn't been open very long, it only opened in about January and we've never bought anything in this box before so we don't know whether they check the stuff or not but i found this subutio deluxe edition by hasbro <laughs> and this it was five pounds but it was all sealed it was all sellotaped up and i wasn't allowed to open it up and see what was actually in here in the shop so i bought it and we opened it up in that last video and I basically just went through what I could see. But since that video has been made, we've fully checked it against the instructions. So right now we're going to show you what I got for £5 from this charity shop. So. Or from that Sputio. Eh? Or just from that Sputio. Well, it was just inside that one box. So we've... It's actually kind of funny because for a long, long time I never saw any Sputio in a charity shop. And then I picked up the penalty shootout from one. And then we had the other set that we've shown. The links will be at the end of the video for the playlist of the Subutio stuff. And then I found this one. And it was, like, it was like buses. You wait all day for one, then three turn up at once. Or five. Depends how the late they are. <sighs> Terrible. So we're going to go by the instructions for the contents to see what we've got compared to the instructions. Now, some things are a bit damaged, like for instance, uh, this player here, he, uh, he's lost his head. He, I've still got it, it's in a box over there. Wait, do you think you have some problems getting your head in the game? Well, he ain't gonna be head and shoulders above the rest, is he? So, this one's not too bad, but there is a, another thing. So we've got 11 players um, well, 11 player bases here for yellow team. He's broken, but we have got two uh, spare players from, so from yellow. So 11 players. Well, we can put them up to 11 players anyway, so we can still use that one. For the red team, we have got 11 players. For the blue, we've got 10 players, but 11 bases. But... I think with the set that I bought from the last charity shop, I might be able to replace one of these players to bring it up to 11. I think. I'm going to have to double check that. Why don't you just so, use the other yellow guy? No. That would be a bit odd, wouldn't it? So, those are not quite complete. We're, we're all right on... It says on here there's supposed to be 33 team players in, in the three different colours. So, that's 11 each. So, we're fine with... Yellow, refining red, or one short on the blue. Now, you're only supposed to have two of the goalkeeper playing handles, which we have, but you get three goalkeepers. So we've got all of those. That's a bit weird, isn't it? No, it's in case you break one. But then why so, don't you break both? If you break both, you're very careless and you'll have to go out and buy some new teams or some new players. Right, next up, We've got the fencing. Now, with this one, we have a fence that goes all the way around and there are eight advertising panels, which I've counted and they're all here. So we have got the eight panels here. They all say the same thing. They just have a red sticker with Subutio written on them. And then you have 22 picket fences. One of the ones that we've got though is a bit bent, but I think when you're putting them together, I'll be able to put that back straight, I expect. If not, I think I've got one that I can replace that with. So that's the only thing wrong with the fencing. You also get four corner fence posts, which we've got all four of those. And then you have uh, 26 fence posts. We've got all those, one still connected to the fence. So we have got 26. Which means he has less to do. <laughs> You could say that. You also got... Unless, you're, unless you really wanted to have more, then you'd take it off and then put it back on. It would just be pointless. What? 
You're weird. I know you are. You've also got two Subutio footballs. These are different to the last set we had. The last set was the sign was in green and these ones are in red. So they're pretty nice. We got the playing pitch, which I showed in the last video. It's in good condition. There's nothing wrong with that. It just needs a bit of an iron because it was all creased up quite badly. And that's all that is. Right. Now, if I move these fen fences out of the way and I'll move the posts. And the reason is because this set has a couple of other little bits with it. So I'll move that. Now we had three of these um, bases for the goal goals and you're supposed to have two goals. You but we've got one. one is complete. Wow, it doesn't really like for that fence. We've got on. two nets. The net, this net, like you can see it just there, is a bit grubby. And the other goal is broken. Now I've got two choices with that. I can either glue it back together. Unlikely. And use it. Or I could just get a replacement goal. Um, Most likely. We'll see. Actually, no, that's very unlikely. What? But don't we already have goals? We do have some goals, but they're not the same ones. So I'll see. I might I might repair it. I'll have to figure that out. Now, next up with this, which I quite like, we got the scoreboard. Now, there are these little... Um, hang on. I can't pick them up. I've got no nails. Wouldn't you? Oh, there you are. That's the original... Um, team names that slot into them there are a few in there they're a little bit they've been cut a little bit short to be honest so you could put the team names up on there that all works this is actually a good little thing if you were buying one of these on ebay you could spend about three to five pounds on one of these and he's not broken he, he went together really well and he still works perfect so I quite like that because we didn't actually have one of these for some reason. What do you think that was? Um, well, in a future video, I'm going to talk about something that happened with my original Subutios. But we'll leave that for, uh, for another day. And then the last thing, which is the biggest and probably the, the best. We got the grandstand. Now... You do get um, two cards for this, and all the cards are is they're basically a picture of a crowd. The crowd pictures are missing off of this set, but you can either get a replacement of them, or you can buy some little figures to sit there instead. Now, which one do you think's better? It, it's it's individual preferences. Like the little individual characters are just like. Just like little subutium men, but done in the sub seated position, then you'd have them like that. And some of them you might have to paint, but it's up to you. Like some people like the card because it's simple and quick. You just put it in, that's it. You forget about it. Some people would like the more three-dimensional look of the little figures. And which one would you want? I think, in a way, I'd like the three-dimensional look with the little figures because it sort of pops out more sometimes with the pictures it just looks a bit naff but anyway this doesn't have those cards which is fine because like i said you can replace them or get the little figures but in this condition because this is actually in perfect condition and just missing those these have sold on ebay in the past for 30 pounds so when you think i've paid five pounds for the whole set and i've got this bit that's worth 30 the scoreboard, which you could say is worth three. You know, if I ever wanted to sell it, I could make a profit on it. Which is not. Which I'm not going to sell it. I've been told I'm not selling it. And I already knew I wasn't selling it because we also, do. Here's one thing. Have you noticed on that? If you're sitting up in the top, you would get soaked if it's raining. No, you wouldn't. Well, unless it's coming from that direction. Nah, you're normally all right at the top. It's the people at the front, the cheap seats. They're very poor people then. I used to sit at the front. <laughs> well, actually, no, I didn't sit at the front. Well, I go to football. I stand at the front. I still, 
I mean, that's that's a, that's a, an experience in itself. We where we go, it's the front of the grandstand. Well, it's not actually the grandstand. That's the whole stand on this place. It's all standing, and they have like bars going through. And sometimes you get some idiots who jump on the back of each other, and they all come forward, and then you end up smacking into the bars on the thing, and it's really annoying. Like it's stupid people. So if you ever go football and you're standing up, don't jump on your friends because you're going to cause problems for people in front of you. And then they're going to really think you're a very bad person. Yeah. So I like this. I'm going to keep it. We will play it because we have played to be here in the past, haven't we? Yeah, and you've just ran out of space because you bought too much. No, I'm going to clear some space and we'll start playing it again sometime. So... If you like this and you want to see more, we are going to be showing some uh, some items out of my collection. And I am going to tell you the story about why I haven't got quite as much Shibuya nowadays as I used to. And it's, it's all down to my brother. So I'm going to show you what I was left after my brother left home. And believe me, it was hard to play Shibuya after my brother left home. And not just because he wasn't at home. Unless you only wanted to play, score the goal at one end. <laughs> but anyway, if you I like what you see, football. if you like what you see and you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. But for now, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.